when those five red lights go out, we will be underway for 50 laps of racing here at the Jeddah Corny circuit in Saudi Arabia. And it's go! Off we go from the start. Adam Maguire will lead. Maguire leads towards turn one, but watch McGorgie on the outside. McGorgie already up alongside Tom Stevens. These two are very old rivals. They've been challenging each other all the way through the series so far. Side by side still. Oh, and there's a spin. I believe that's Walburn. Walburn into the wall. And the THRs maintain the top two. So still, it's Maguire, then Stevens, then McGorgie. Here is Matthias Moos, who I mistakenly called Yanis Walburn because my brain is stuck a couple of years in the past and he's getting tangled up already like not even on the oh goodness three wide and uh, gets properly caught out and a huge impact there my goodness ends up on two wheels in the middle of the circuit like the one space but everyone's just fighting for the same bit of track Fidoc initially gets through it look so Fidoc's got yeah. through it um someone else tie oh uh, someone rejoining clips him and that was Matthew Williams. Oh, you can see Ty and both of the um, Epic Racing Team cars had a spin on that first lap, I think. So, uh, oh dear. Oh, and they came together. Oh and it was a rejoin. It was an unsafe rejoin yeah. from Matthew Williams into the side of uh, David Fidock. As McGorky there takes a look at, um, at uh, Tom Stevens. Actually, let's watch this first because uh, here we go. Oh, McGorgie to the inside of Tom Stevens, side by side. Whoa, he's nearly outbraked himself. Nearly goes into Adam Maguire in the process. He's being hung out to dry. Watch to see if Jan Grankvis can get involved in this as well. And Stevens holds him off. So Machete here, he's just ahead of Dylan Fisher. And behind is that uh, one of the TOP cars, Carlos Martin. And Fisher hits him. Fisher runs into the back of him. And that is not the fault of Ruben Machete. Oh, and Jan Granquist as well, up into P3. And yes, so Granquist. So now his tyres on them first couple of laps. Room Machete up the inside, goes through. That is on Philip Pushke, that's for P21. And here is Dylan Fisher now, trying to get himself into the top 10. He's on the outside of Zolt Schuchs. Might play a little bit of DRS chicken here. We'll have to wait and see. Well, there's the D DRS detection zone. It's on the exit of the corner. And he'll have got that, so as they go through the DRS zone, opens the flat wide, and uh, that will help him down the straight. So well played for uh, for Dylan Fisher. But yeah, we're going yellow in sector one. You have to Lalu. Lalu. Here we go into turn one. They're just going to get tangled up with Yal Tyen. Yep, there we go. Yeah. Granqvist of, has the DRS here, he's, he's going the to the outside. This is the final turn of the lap. There is another DRS zone on the exit, which will help him. Oh, and they got, he, he touched the wall. He almost got squeezed into the barriers there. DRS open once again. And I think he did get squeezed into the wall, right? He was touching Stevens and the barriers at the same time. But that's irrelevant now because he's trying to go through again. He'll have the inside line. They bang wheels on the exit once again. Please avoid the barrier, guys. And still they're side by side. Up towards the braking zone. Stevens, well, well, I thought he'd... Yes, he has He has maintained the position. So I think they're going to swap it. The yeah, are switch. going to swap. So Tom Stevens will have his turn to lead. And Adam Maguire now has the angry Yang Grangfist on his tail. But here we go again. Yang Grangfist lining him up and slipstreaming on the exit of the corner. Now remember, if he gets, if he keeps it on the outside here, he will have the inside. For the next turn, he's gone wide. Nearly crashes into the back of Tom Stevens' car. McGorgie will go through to third. Look. Oh, that is not how he would have wanted it to go. McGorgie, no DRS here. He's going to be an absolute sitting duck and he opts for the pits. Best, best thing to do there, really. He's gone different to everybody else. He was a sitting duck. He was always going to get past anyway, so may as well go for a... A little bit of an alternate strategy, you get a major undercut on these guys. Here and comes one, Alex Lahoo and Tom Stevens, they're both in. Grankvist yeah, setting up Maguire right. here, exit of turn one. Whoa, big slide from Maguire, he'll pit, surely. I believe Maguire will be heading for the pit lane here, and Grankvist does not decide. I was wondering if he would decide to stay out and use the DRS. Uh, but no, they both come in. Here is McGorgie on the back of Heigo Poom, needs to pass him quickly, darts to the inside and leaves Heigo out to dry on the outside. There we go. The orange car just up ahead is Alex Lahou. That's who McGorkey is really fighting. Maguire and Grankvist both pits on that last lap. And look at this. And that's that's um, Adam Maguire out of the pits. So McGorkey and, well, pretty much everyone there has jumped Adam Maguire. So it's Stevens leading from Alex Lahou, second place, three seconds back. 
McGorky is third, and then Maguire is fourth. As Jan Grankvist makes an important move on Heigo Poom, there is Moritz Krop now getting past Heigo Poom as well. Krop is fighting with uh, Grankvist as uh, Tomasz Wok passes Jamalo Zapala. And we're about to see a replay of what happened to Zolt Schicks, whether it was an accident or a disconnection. At this circuit, you have to kind of assume accident until proven otherwise. And there we go. Turns in way too early and Lance strolls it. It's been a little bit of a race for Trishan so far. Still quite a few cars remaining, because of course we had 30 starters. Tomasz Wok passing Heiko Poom. Dean McGuire now all over the gearbox of McGorgie. Is he gonna go, oh, my neck. <laughs> wow. That's quite something to watch. He goes to the inside. Oh, look at this! Oh, well, they run out over the curves. That is a very, done. very brave overtake. I tell you what, you don't normally expect, and McGorky's coming back to him here, you don't normally expect overtakes until you're on the start finish straight at least. McGorky will have a run though. We know his car's faster in a straight line. They're going three wide. Look at Grankfist. Grankfist gonna get them both. Amazing move. He set himself wow. up perfectly for the straight. And we've just seen two fantastic overtakes in the space of about 30 seconds. As they approach turn one, he's getting closer. He will have to go to the outside line. McGorky covered off the inside, but that will of course turn into the inside line and goes back through. Ooh. Please keep in mind that there's a car on your inside. He does. Good move from Maguire once again. Here's the TX TX3 swapping places. And through as well comes Jumanu Zapala in that one. So nice little scrap going on for P13, 14 and 15. And it's important to remember, Ryan, uh, that points go down to 15th in this one. So this is still for, for points. Well, here we go again, onto the start-finish straight. Jan Grangfist has the DRS and has the slipstream. To the outside he goes, and he will get second place from Alex Lahou into the braking zone for turn one. Good move from Jan Grangfist. Maguire now, DRS open. Also DRS on the hookah. He's still going to go for it, though. Does he get it stopped? Slides in. Yes, he, he does. does. Not just on the curbs, but within the white lines too. And he came from yeah. a long way back. Another good move from Adam Maguire there. As Jakub Ekalalu is about to pull a move on Philip Pushke. There he goes. Giuseppe Ragusa, virtual drivers by TX3. Looks to be all out of shape through the uh, the S's. And is that a... Yes, that's that's exactly what, uh, what I expected was going to happen. And another big shunt. And so, Lali now. Attacks Fabrizio Gobbi for 14th place, and that was a much easier one for him there. Could be in DRS range for Jan on the Tom Stevens, so if Maguire's gonna, gonna make a dent, it's gonna have to be soon. Otherwise, they're gonna be at... Oh no, there we go, he's gonna go for a pit stop instead. Yeah. The first of the top lads to take the plunge. Stevens is in the pits, and now is his chance. Now he's got a push, because if this all goes his way, he could end up uh, right with or ahead of Tom Stevens. Owen McGorky is also in the pits, so we will have a look at him as well. Stevens is on medium tyres, so no one jumping for those softs just yet. Now, where is he in relation to Maguire? Side by side. Wow. Oh, Stevens just maintains it. Uh, we're looking at Jakub Ekalali versus Daniel Stepkowski. And uh, Stepkowski on the outside and goes through before the corner. Uh, McGorky, meanwhile, is also behind the THR guys, as expected. And talking of THR, they're having to fight their way through Tomasz Vok. This could be what the doctor ordered as far as Jan Grankfist is concerned. Ooh, and Maguire was slightly caught out on the exit there as well. Will Adam Maguire use the DRS to prove that he's faster than Tom Stevens here? He does. He goes yes. to the inside, so they will swap places. There we go. Stevens lets him go. And here is... Is that Crop on Martin now? Yes, so yeah, Mark's yeah. Crop going through, although Carlos Martin still owes us a pit stop, right? Unless he's trying to maintain it to the end. Crop absolutely flying right now. But is that yeah, Grandquist in the pits? Let's see. Now it's now or never. I think Maguire's gonna take the lead back, but and it is soft. 
Come on. So Maguire, Maguire and on. Stevens have definitely gone through. They will lead the race. Here we go again, onto the start finish straight. Grangfist looks closer this time. Surely he's gonna have a swipe. He goes to the inside. Stevens barely puts up a fight on the straight and Grangfist gets alongside him. But now this is where it comes back to Stevens. He has the inside line. He's gonna lose it. Grangfist is up to second. He's only got one car to go now. Look at this, Jan Grangfist is going for Adam Maguire. He's going for the lead. He's on the inside and Jan Grangfist leads the race just one lap after taking second he is breaking the hearts of THR and the entire squad but I tell you what the hearts will be full of anyone who wants to see a deserved victory go the way of Jan Grangfist tell you what though he's got right onto the back of Maguire again they're gonna swap places back our THR now do the THRs bother to swap back here? Looks like they will. So Maguire goes back through to second position. Lalu going for a move on Gobby here. This is for 14th place. And this late in the race, that doubles your points tally. Oh dear, but only if you can make it stick. Little touch, little rubbing of wheels through the turn. Major mistake at the front of oh. the pack. Granquist lost about two seconds to Adam Maguire. And he's just gonna maybe lose concentration. This is braking zone, yep. Easy peasy, off he goes. Oh, he tagged the wall as he was rejoining the track. Look at that. Uh, Carlos Martin now going for ninth on Dylan Fisher. As you see, now Martin goes to the outside. DRS wide open. Get them. Yeah, he gets it done well before the corner. Very good. And there is the attempted manoeuvre from Lalu, who will have a better run on Zapala on the exit of the corner. Down the straight he goes. DRS open and through into 14th place. The gap has come down to four tenths of a second. So this lap hasn't been great either. You wonder whether he's picked up damage maybe or whether his tires have gone off. He's got one more corner to do. Stevens takes a look, probably just trying to unsettle him. And Grankfist has maintained it. After 20 Super League races, eight podiums and one pole position, Jan Grankfist is a Super League winner by just three tenths of a second. Amazing race there. Then it's this battle, Martin and Fisher. Who's going to be ahead here? Fisher gets it. Dylan Fisher, Gobby and Lalo are still fighting. This is over P12. Goodness me, it's not over yet. Out of the final turn they go. Lali will get DRS, of course. It's still active on the last lap. Oh, very late defensive maneuver from Gobby. And he just fends him off. Jan Grankvist becomes a GPWC Super League winner at last. Tom Stevens was second. Adam Maguire was third. Alex Lahou fourth. Very good. Owen McGorgie was fifth place after winning the first round. Moritz Krop was sixth. Then it was Tomasz Wok and Daniel Stepkowski, the RSRs. Dylan Fisher, P9 in the newly rebranded, aka Hero Kart. Carlos Martin, P10. And we move on to the second slate. We have Janos Bratschok on his GPWC Super League debut. And then Fabrizio Gobbi, Jaka Pekka Lalu. There is the other Super Venturi car in 13th. Germano Zapala, 14th. Stein Handgraf gets his first point in 15th place. Then Ruven Machetti, George Zaligianis, Robin Panza, Heigo Poom, and Philip Pushke, who will be classified, even though he didn't cross the start finish line at the end. And uh, finally, we have Jeffrey Fournier and then all of the non-classified runners. Giuseppe Ragusa had a big crash. Zolt Schuchs had a big crash. I'm sure you get where this is going. Jörg Iron, Chris Shepard, Isfang Zingel, Mark Schluter, David Feidock, Matthew Williams and Matthias Moose are the other DNFs. Probably all of those due to big crashes.